Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I happen to have seen, filmed a review for, and then lost such a review, uh, <laughs> the nine, er, 2019 film debuting on Netflix of The Silence, which seems like a cheap knockoff of A Quiet Place, Except for the fact that this is one of those cases where two very similar films were written and produced at the same time. One just happened to come out after the other. And, yes, you have the premise in the silence of it. An exploratory team has gone out there, popped open a cave, and then some little ugly buggers come out and eat everything that makes sound. Well... The problem... First problem with this movie... is that for some reason... no one has come up with the idea of shotgun. These creatures are... tiny chicken-sized versions of, say, the... The things from Pitch Black, if you know what they are, uh, I think they're called Sky Raptors or something, but, I mean, these are, they're little chicken monsters, they're flying piranhas, basically, and if you have a shotgun, you're going to take out quite a lot of them before, before they get you, particularly because they're not all that big, you know, we have, like, SWAT armor, which would make you pretty much immune to these things. Or shark dive, diving armor, which would also make you pretty much immune to these things. Or perhaps, you know, military-grade vehicles, which would make you pretty much immune to these things. So, yes, it does appear that society falls very quickly to these little monsters, which is another problem, because, well... You know, we don't have time to mount an appropriate defense. But, you know, what the heck were they eating in the cave that they needed to breed so quickly? Why is it the military can't do anything against them? And moreover, there's a scene where a dude kills at least a thousand of these by turning on a wood chipper. They're that attracted to sound that they're just stupid. They'll run into anything that makes noise. So literally, what you could do to kill these critters is if you have a vintage car, I mean, you know, 1980s and earlier, I believe, like one with an exposed fan or a belt fan, just pop the hood and turn the engine on and they fly into the engine and chop themselves up until uh, the engine is clogged with their paste. Likewise, you know, everybody turn on their wood chippers, turn their uh, lawnmowers upside down, and leave them running, and these things will just run right into them. So on and so forth. And I mean, it's like, yes, you know, I will grant you it wouldn't be a good idea to fly a Cessna through these things' territory, but you know, could you imagine what a Predator drone would do to these things? would just have to fly around and let the propeller eat them. You know, you, you could go back there. Propellers are designed to be light. They're normally made out of wood, I think. At least for small aircraft. You know what? I don't actually know what a propeller is made out of. But just say you've got a... Uh, the, the double double engine Cessna and they exist. There's a pusher or tractor puller Cessna where there's an engine in front and an engine in back. And you just replace the old propeller, which um, maybe it's made out of aluminum, say, and, and you change that with stainless steel and sharpen it to the point where it's as sharp as a good kitchen knife. And you know, it's like all right, so you just fly that thing through the air, 
and all the little monsters go and run at the propellers and get themselves chopped to bits. And whereas, you know, you the human might not want to be in there, it wouldn't be that hard to fit one of these things to be remote. Particularly if it doesn't have to, you know, go anywhere particular. I mean, if you just want it to fly until it runs out of fuel or gets knocked out of the sky. So, yeah. The Silence is a dumb movie with a dumb monster. But like all good monster movies, you know, the real monster isn't the creepy crawly, it's the human beings. We see this in the film Jaws. Who's the monster? The shark is not a monster. It's a shark. It does what sharks do. It eats things. Okay, makes sense. We're going to have to kill this thing because it's eating us. But, I mean, that's just, you know, law of nature. On the other hand, you have the mayor who's going, but we can't sacrifice the money. We have to, we have to not close the beaches. Okay, you know, who's the real monster? It's not easy to outsmart the shark. Stay out of the water. It would probably move on when it has no more food. But but the the guy says, no, 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 we, we, we've got to all have an itch. Oh, oh. I know I shouldn't touch my face. So So in this movie, we do have religious cults that have popped up in the three days since the monsters have shown up. And uh, they, they try to impregnate our hero's daughter or something. I mean, it's really weird. I could not get through this movie. You know, it's just... I mean, it's a movie, and it's not that it's terribly done. It's just that it's poorly written. And if it wasn't such a poorly written movie, I'd like it more. But anyway, The Silence, if you're, if you're in this for monster gore and cliches, definitely go and watch this movie. If you're not in it for monster gore and cliches... You're going to be disappointed. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard. Greetings, capitalist pigs. I am Great Russian Strongman Stealth Borgov, here from Absurd TV to remind you to like and subscribe to this video. And leave a comment telling everyone how much you'd like to see more of me, which you can find on Absurd TV. By Mark Schaefer.